口にするなこんなに素敵な響きになる君だけのためにある言葉Then, been a, quite a while since I did a video like this, but I'm back with commentary, thankfully. Well, you know, I got some new batteries just this weekend, and yeah, so I just decided, why not? You no, know? I haven't been doing commentaries in a while, and my English skills are going bad, really. In terms of speaking, yeah, writing is so good. Speaking, not so much. Anyway, anyways, if you've been watching the last few videos, you'll notice that my team's gotten, well, totally, totally different, except for King Leo. Well, that's probably because I've been tinkering with breathing and reading walkthroughs randomly. Yeah. Going back and forth here and there, trying to get the best monster breed just so that I can get awesome skills, you know? Just like now, you know? My Orochi just learned Big Bang. I'm, I'm so good, happy, you know? But sadly, you're not gonna see it right now. You're gonna see it in the Duran battle. Yeah. The Duran battle. It's gonna take a while, really. Well, you know, this quite a long video if you're gonna watch it through and through, but I'm gonna speed it up uh, at some point or another. Just showing, just, you know, gonna give you a heads up. Well, I'm gonna show you what possible, there are four possible rooms you can enter here, but only one has a boss inside. And I'm gonna show you just those four rooms. After my monster stats are done showing. Yeah, so probably gonna start speeding it up right about now. Okay, so enter the boss room. This is, uh, what is his name? Oh yeah, Darkhorn. One of the hardest monsters to get in the game, really. He's the boss family equivalent of the beast family. Uh, I heard he's even stronger than King Leo in terms of defense and attack, but I'm not entirely sure. Well, that's probably because I haven't gotten them yet, and I'm too lazy to because I don't want to sacrifice my King Leo for something that looks like, what, what is he, uh, um, a Squidward-like character, you know? Wait, what was this? Uh, a bull with Squidward's nose. Yeah, uh, I don't like that. That sucks. I'd prefer a four-armed lion over something that looks like Squidward. Sucks really. Squidward sucks eggs. Well, uh, okay, wait, why did I use focus? Hey, that was a stupid move back then. Well, uh, if you try to use defensive spell, uh, oh, what you call this, uh, support spells on him, it, it won't work really. Just like the fence here did really work. I don't know why. Probably because he's a beast monster, but odd, oddly enough, it works on my King Leo. Weird. Uh, uh, who cares? 
I, you know, who cares if I, I, at least I beat him, you know. Took quite a while, but I beat him, you know. Even with just hitting 70 per quad hit. Yeah, that doesn't, that doesn't really matter. As long as I have quad hits in play, he's not gonna beat me. Yeah. Now, I don't really know why I've, I haven't been doing commentaries, though, whatever. Uh, probably because I barely have anything to say anymore. Just like now. I'm running out of things to say about Darkhorn, really. But, he's actually one of the weakest bosses here in the entire game. I'm, sa I'm, I'm saying it quite bluntly, you know, he's one of the weakest bosses in the entire game. No matter how much immunity he has to some spells, and it doesn't matter if he has stop spell or not. As long as he has quad hits or strong physical hitting monsters or awesome skills like Wind Beast here, you're gonna beat him and you're gonna beat him again. It wouldn't really matter. But I heard he does use sleep all sometimes and when that happens it's devastating because your monsters probably won't wake up until he uses an uber attack on you. As long as you have at least 200 defense per monster, you know, you're gonna survive. I mean, Big D is my weakest defense here and Darkhorn hitting him for like 10 HP per hit. Uh, that's the weakest I've that's the weakest I've seen for any boss in this game. Even weaker than Golem or Heater. Heater owns, man, but Darkhorn doesn't. As long as he doesn't use Sleep All, you're safe. Oh, wait. How am I conversing to Warabu if I'm talking to a wall? And how did Warabu just leap over a wall that high? Well, doesn't make sense really because he's a plant. No, plants aren't supposed to talk. They're not supposed to move. They're not even supposed to fly. They're supposed to be like floor man or face tree. You know, just planted, just planted into the ground, casting spells, being all knowledgeable and stuff. They're not supposed to jump over labyrinth walls. That's cheating, man. That's cheating. Well, well whatever, you know. I, I'll be back for the next Where, Where Am I Now video. I still refuse to call it Let's Play Dragon Warrior Monsters because that's too cliche and some of the did that. So I'm keeping the Where Am I Now thing. Even for whatever reason I have. Oh, well. Next monster is gonna be Uberman. He has one of the best designs I've seen in terms of rooms. Yeah. Well, that's it for me.